My name is Dean Hogan. I am the Associate Pastor of Intergenerational Ministries at First Baptist Church, which is just a really fancy name for children, youth, and college and career age people. They fall underneath my kind of umbrella. Um, I want to share with you a story that kind of happened, uh, I'd say about six months ago. It was about Easter time this last year. I always wait a week after uh, Easter to buy all my Easter candy for all my youth, and I went one day, and I think I bought about $90 worth of Easter candy, which is about $200 worth if I would have bought, the, bought it the week before. And I decided to have a scavenger hunt kind of around the church, an Easter egg hunt, so I put all the, the candies all over the church, in the upstairs and the downstairs. If you know anything about First Baptist Calgary, it's a huge building. And I put, put some outside, up leading to our huge manse, and I, and I put some in the manse. And it was about 6.45, and kids were coming out about 7, and I went back into the, the church, and I was waiting for kids to come. And all of a sudden, I saw this group of kids, and they were stealing all of my Easter candy. And so I ran outside, I'm like, what are you doing? Why are you stealing all my Easter candy? Like, uh, and, they, and they ran away. And I was like, oh, how dare they steal my Easter candy outside? And I went back inside, and I closed the door. And all of a sudden, I kind of thought, wait a second. I'm a, I'm a youth pastor. Those are youth, and they're in my neighborhood. And so I ran back. I ran out, and I ran after them, and they kind of ran back to me. And I, I said, hey, it's okay. They wanted to apologize. They're like, don't call the cops. It's like, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Like, it's okay. How, how would you like to come to youth group? And I had this group of about 12 boys from around the neighborhood uh, start coming to youth. And they were from all over the world. There was a kid from Pakistan, a kid from Yemen. Uh, there was a, some kids from China, from Mongolia. And they represented this huge kind of ethnic international group of people that lived downtown in the Beltline of Calgary. And I kind of opened up this basketball ministry on, on Sunday nights that uh, they would come and they would play basketball and they would eat um, through the summer kind of, um, deteriorated a little bit. I had less and less of them come, but it kind of sparked this whole idea that that us at First Baptist and especially me needs to be conscious of the people that are around my neighborhood in the Beltline that they're international and that we need to make our youth ministry an international youth ministry. And, and this last weekend we went to a retreat at Gull Lake, and I asked around um, the table where everyone was from, and I'm pretty sure all the members, all 20 kind of kids I brought, were from different countries. So as we go forward at First Baptist, our, our aim is to do some children's ministry, to do kind of some urban camping for, for kids of all international, um, all international, uh, all over the world, little bit from all over the world. And we're going to just hope to create kind of a program where, where people will come because they know that the church is a place where they can be cared for, they can be loved. And we will be telling them about Jesus through some interesting things like maybe putting out some more Easter eggs, uh, uh, chocolate Easter eggs or or, or even just putting on some meals for people. We have a big job down there, but we're really hoping that um, God will use us to impact our neighborhood as we kind of invite faith, we act in mercy, and uh, we cultivate our disciples.